Good morning, friends. I know I'm like, like getting all crazy with my morning meetings and I'm like falling out of my normal routine here because um, I, I don't usually do them on Tuesdays. Remember, I was just going to do them on Mondays, but after yesterday, which was a hard one, um, I was spent the whole day uh, thinking about that class. Of course I did. And um, I just had the most wonderful memories and some of them were just so funny that I thought um, it would be a lovely tribute uh, to those kids to share some of those memories with you. So I decided to do an extra morning meeting. Uh, so anyway, I want to share a couple of those things. So just a little backstory here. Um, I was baptized Catholic as a child, um, but I never... I never really went to church. Um, my dad had gone to church a lot. Um, he had to go to church, I think, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, something like that. And um, my, my grandparents were very strict devout Catholics. And um, my mom did not want me baptized Catholic. She wanted me to make a decision when I grew up. Um, and But the family won out, and so, uh, that's what ended up happening, which in a way, um, later on in life, I was glad that happened because that is one of the reasons I was able to get my job at St. Mary's, um, is that I was a Catholic, um, even though I had no idea how to be a Catholic, like none. So when I first was hired at St. Mary's, um, I basically took a crash course in how to be a Catholic, and thank goodness, I was teaching these incredible children who like thought it was the funniest thing ever that like I didn't know how to be a good Catholic. So they were like super happy to teach me. Um, and I loved them so much. And actually what ended up happening is um, as I grew up, even though I, I didn't have a religion, um, this background is so terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm like sitting on my couch because I've got this very elaborate system of fans happening in our house because we our windows flip out so that they I can't put air conditioning in them so um, I have this whole elaborate system because there's one room in our house that has air so I have this giant industrial fan in front of the door of the room that has air conditioning and it's blowing the air down the hall into the kitchen area where I have ceiling fans in the kitchen and the dining room and then another fan directed into the bedroom to try to push the cool air through the house I have every window blocked up I have a card table a card table and like a, a lid off of a box blocking one window that gets like a lot of sunshine and, and I have everything else like closed down because I am just like gearing up for the next couple days. So sorry, off track. Anyway, the point is um, when I uh, was growing up because I didn't have, I wasn't raised re with religion, I um, went searching for it and I went to a church with all of my friends and uh, got to experience a lot of different faiths and found all of them beautiful actually in their own way. Um, and I, I grew up to be a very spiritual person, um, not a religious person, but a very spiritual person. So um, when I got this job though, um, I just didn't, I had no idea how to be a Catholic, but like it was at a Catholic school, which I didn't know this then, but like it was super Catholic. Like you actually had to do Catholic stuff which I know this sounds ridiculous now, but it was funny. So I had to learn all the prayers, which actually I loved so much because I thought they were beautiful. Um, but, but one day I was sitting and talking with my class, those group of kids that I just fell in love with my first class. And we started talking about all of the things that we had thought when we were younger um, about Catholicism. So one was one of my kids, um, and I, I think it was Timmy, um, one of the kids, um, Joey Linehan, I think, <laughs> said he thought that God lived in the little, um, the little container up above the, um, the altar, like where they take out the host, because they always say this is the body of Christ. So he thought that that, 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 that Christ lived in there because that's where the body of Christ came out of all the time, which we thought was hysterical. And then another kid said that he thought that, uh, I think it was that Jesus, that Jesus's name was Hal O. Hail, oh, because when they would do the prayer, hallowed be thy name, he thought, got it, got it, it's pretty funny, huh? Um, and I was talking about things too, like when I was little, I would go to church sometimes with my grandparents, because like I said, they were pretty serious Catholics, and my grandmother would always, um, she would always, when they went into the church, it was this big, huge bird bath of water, which I thought was perfume, because she would dab it 
and I thought she was putting on perfume because she always smelled really good. So I thought it was perfume. So I would take it too and just stab a little bit, you know, here and here. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it was holy water. I didn't know. Um, so that's kind of funny. Um, and uh, they were just, they were just really fun, good kids. And um, I probably wasn't the best teacher uh, for the Catholic school, but I was a really great teacher for those kids. Um, but like we definitely, I definitely let some things go that probably a good Catholic teacher wouldn't do. So like one thing was we had this, um, this doll of the Pope like up in this, on this high shelf, like it was, it was up on this high shelf and the Pope was like watching us all day long. And, um, the kids felt so comfortable with me and like I did with them too. And one of them said, you know, I've always wondered, like the Pope has been in every classroom I've had since I was a kid, like little, can we take him down? And I was like, yeah, I think so. I think it's okay to touch him. So we got down the, the doll Pope, the Pope doll. And, um, and all of us wanted to know like what the Pope had on underneath. So like we, we totally looked up the Pope's robes, like up the robes because we wanted to see what was under there. It was kind of like a Ken doll or something. And there wasn't, it was just like a stick. There wasn't even like a doll body. So it was a big letdown. Um, cause the real Pope I'm sure has stuff under there. Um, but anyway, we were super curious and that probably wasn't a great choice as a teacher, but, um, I was just as curious as they were. And I, and we, we like swore ourselves to secrecy. We swore ourselves to secrecy with like a lot of stuff because I love those kids. So I would have gone to my grave for any of them. One of the things that happened when I was, um, observed by my principal, who I really liked a lot, but she was kind of um, scary to all of us. Um, and once I like stuck up for my class when she came in and yelled at them, I was like, don't yeah, talk to them that way. And then we just decided we loved each other so much. So one time when I got observed, we had a system that if they didn't know the answer, they would raise their left hand. But if they did know the answer, they'd raise their right hand. So I looked brilliant in my observation. And then um, the last raid that's kind of funny, and I'm not going to out anybody on this one, but um, I found out that one of my students was um, selling Playboy, um, the the inside part with the body that like floats out. What's that called? The centerfold. He was selling centerfolds on the bus. Oh my God, my nails look so good. I'm sorry. Oh, MG, can we just take a moment? Oh, Sean, they're so great. Okay, sorry, ADHD. I'm not medicated today. Anyway. So um, rather than turn him in because he was crying so hard and he was so scared he was going to get in trouble, I just confiscated them and we all swore we would never talk of it again. So I hope this is a little more uplifting than yesterday. Go with God. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. Have a beautiful Tuesday. And uh, thanks for being here.